morning, my friends. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on a terrific Tuesday, beautiful day. I hope that you had a chance to go out this morning with a cup of coffee and a copy of the Word of God and sit on your front porch and just feel the cool breeze and listen to the birds. We had a woodpecker in our tree in the front yard this morning. It was uh, amazing to watch, but I hope that you have your Bible now. We're in 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 12, and we've been talking about these this first verses as, as Paul deals with spiritual gifts, and uh, that's where we're going to be focusing on today. And, and he's talking about the presence and the power of, of the Holy Spirit in our lives. It changes everything. And he says in, in the first part of these verses that no one who is speaking by the Spirit of God can say that Jesus is accursed. Understand the Jews and the Gentiles both believe that anyone who was crucified, uh, hung on a tree, was cursed by God. And uh, he said nobody who has the Holy Spirit could ever believe that or ever say that. And uh, he says no one who does not have the Holy Spirit can say Jesus is Lord. And what he's talking about there is the simple fact that when uh, the only way you know that Jesus is Lord is uh, if the Holy Spirit is in you, indwelling you, has called you into that relationship with himself. Um, but then he, he moves on to gifts. And look what he says in verse 4. There are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are differences of ministries, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works all in all. Now pause there for just a minute, because I want you to understand something here. Paul is talking about spiritual gifts, the charismata. The, the spiritual gifts that God gives to his people to enable them to do the work of the ministry, whatever that might be. And we'll talk about what those gifts are in just a minute. And he says, but they're all different, but they all come from the same spirit, which again is uh, all about the creative mind of God, how he has this plan and this purpose for us and, and that he brings us all together in such a way that, I, I mean, it is a dynamic picture of his creativity, of his of his beauty, of, of his wonder, as he says, I, I'm going to give this person this gift and this person this gift and this person this gift, then I'm going to bring them together so that they can work to accomplish the mission that I've given them. That's, that's exactly what Paul's talking about. And he says, there are differences of ministries, but the same Lord. Jesus is Lord, just what we've talked about, but we all have a different ministry. Can you imagine what a Baptist church would be like if you had 200 people who were all the preacher? <laughs> um, anyway, we won't go there. I was long-winded enough on Sunday. Uh, but, but think about that. you, you got to have all of these different ministries. You, you know, I, I'm not called to youth ministry. I'm certainly not called to do music ministry. Uh, and I'm not called to do children's ministry. I'm called to be pastor. That's, that's my calling. That's my ministry. Uh, there are those who have a ministry of evangelism. There are those who have a ministry of encouragement. Some of our sweet ladies write the most beautiful cards and send it to people. Um, some of our men make phone calls and, and just checking on people. That is their ministry. It is a different kind of ministry. But we all serve the same Lord. He is the one that's directing all of this so that we can continue to minister and reach our community. Now, verse 6, he says, There are diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works all in all. Do you see the beauty of what Paul's doing here? He's got the Holy Spirit, he's got the Lord Jesus Christ, and he's got God the Father. He's talking about the Trinity, the Holy Trinity, the triune God, the divine Godhead, however you want to, to describe it. He's talking about the, the three who are one and the one who are three, and he says they're all working together in us so that we can work together to accomplish his purpose. God is the one who works in all of us. It, it isn't like, you know, the Holy Spirit works in me, but uh, Jesus works in you and God works in someone else. All three of these members of the divine Godhead are working in us to enable us to accomplish what God is calling us to do. Diversities of activities. It may not be ministries, but activities that we, we do in, in the church. Uh, things that, that God has called us to do to minister in our community, those kinds of things. He says, and through it all, God is at work making this happen. And here's the kicker, verse 7. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. Do you see that? The manifestation of the Spirit, the gift of the Spirit, is given to each one of us individually 
but it is for the profit of the entire body. It is to benefit the church. It is to benefit the body of Christ. And we're going to pick up here tomorrow, and we'll talk about this more uh, in, in more detail tomorrow. But I want you to think about that. If you aren't using your gifts within the, the body of Christ, then you are being disobedient to the Father, and the body of Christ is hurting. We need you. Think about that. Be blessed. I'll see you back here tomorrow.